All right, shalom, shalom. Giving all praises, all glory, and all honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. All right, double honors to the apostles and my elders at the Great Millstone who rule, who rule well. And peace and salutations to all you. I came out there preaching this truth throughout the four corners of the earth with truth and sincerity in your hearts and for the love of the gospel. All right, I'm the brother Shamaria coming to you from the um, Great Millstone branch of Gary, Indiana, uh, with another lesson. This lesson is going to be about uh, the famine of the word, right? Because the Lord has given us certain prophecies to uh, indicate the future, man. That's what the word prophecy means to say before, you know. So the scriptures give us prophecies that's going to happen in the future. You understand? <clears throat> One of those prophecies <clears throat> is the famine of bread and uh, bread and food and also the famine of the word. All right, because once, once the... Um, the day of Jacob's trouble come, which let me get that. Once the day of Jacob's trouble come, the prophets are no longer the prophets are no longer going to be on the street corners preaching and teaching the word, man. You know the Lord is going to um shut the mouths of the prophets and and pull them off the street and pull them into safety. All right, this is the book of uh, Jeremiah thirty and and seven. It says, "Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it." It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, and but he shall be saved out of it. See, right now, right now, the prophets are out there on the highways and byways teaching, you know, teaching the scriptures and preaching, preaching the downfall of uh, this this current world that we're living in, this current system. All right, but once the day of Jacob's trouble happened, all right, and the famine happened, we are no longer going to be on the streets preaching the word. All right, with that let me go to uh, Book of Amos eight and eleven. This is Amos chapter 8, verse 11. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. All right, and that famine is approaching. All right. And that and let me let me say this. this there's also going to be a, a physical famine, man, of, of bread and, and water. All right. But by how how do how do I know that? Because of biblical prophecy. Okay. This is the book of um, that. I'm going to go to uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Uh, the point is at 3 and then 4. 3 and 4. All right, so let me. Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now the Creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. Nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. So, you know, before before the evil days come, you know, seek seek ye the Lord before, he, you know, while he still can be found. And how do you seek the Lord? You listen to the men of the Lord. All right. You take heed. All right. To the men of the Lord, because they were, you know, the men of the Lord are the messengers. All right. And you and you ask, you ask, how do I escape this uh, this onslaught, man? How do I escape this 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 situation that's gonna happen? The day of Jacob's trouble. All right, and then the men of the Lord will tell you different different scriptures, and they'll teach you wisdom, you know, and they'll and they'll and they'll cause you hopefully, you know, through hope and faith that you will you will you will, you will escape. All right, verse two it says, while the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. In the in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, see this is the point. The keepers of the house. So when you go into this word economy, all right, you go into this word economy. You say what the keepers of the house. Remember, so let's look up the word economy. Econ. Me. Etymology. The etymology is the is the original meaning of the word. So when you look it up right here in the Google, right, it comes from the Greek, oko, uh, o, oi, oikos, all right. It says house or manage, and then it says household management. Okay, so it says the keeper of the house. The this this system that we live in is an economy, the management of material or resources. Okay. So who managed who managed the material and resources of the world? It's the elites, you know. And then and it, and it trickles down. It trickles down to people under them. It, but it start it start with the elites. 
it trickles down to the CEOs of these companies, and then the CEOs, and then the the, the management with these certain with certain businesses and certain um, companies. All right, those are the keepers of the house. They're going to tremble. Why? Because <clears throat> there's going to be a famine. The, the the economy is going to collapse. All right, the house is going to collapse. It says, "In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves." All right, and the grinders shall and the grinders cease because they are few. All right, so it says the strong men shall bow themselves. All right, because they have they, they, there's going to be no um there's going to be no safety for them, man. All right, and then the money's going to stop. Okay, and the grinders and the grinders cease because they are few. The grinders are the work of the work, man. You know the the employment, if you will. Okay, it says. And those that look out the, of the windows be darkened because it's going to be hard times. I told you, you know, the day of Jacob's trouble, you know, there's going to be no work. There's going to be no police to keep oil on, oil on the streets. You know, this is this is how martial law is going to be ushered in. You know, this is uh, and the doors be shut in the streets. When the sound of the grinding is low, he shall rise. He shall raise up. He shall ra ra rise up at the voice of the bird and the daughters of music shall be brought down. Because there's going to be no mirth, you know. The daughters of music are going to be brought low. It's not going to be. It's not going to be no partying. It's going to be hard times for everybody, and we know that by various scriptures in the Bible. Um, I'm, I think I'm thinking of two off the top of my head. Let me go ahead and get them. Uh, I believe it's Isaiah 24, 23. Uh, make the earth empty and make of the ways to turn it upside down, scatter for broad inhabitants. See, yeah, this is all of this is good. All the way until let's see, uh, ten. I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna start from one. I'm just gonna get straight to the point. Therefore, the curse the fell. No one more. Okay, seven is the seven, and then <clears throat> gonna go down to thirteen. No, twelve. But twenty-seven and twelve. This is uh Isaiah twenty-four and seven. The new wine mourneth, the vine languisheth, all the merry hearted do sigh. All right. The new wine and the vine languisheth is the is the is the knowledge, man. All right. This 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 was philosophy of this world. The new wine mourneth and the vine languisheth. All right, because wine is representation of knowledge. All right, this this knowledge, this this wisdom of this of this world, this philosophy of this world is gonna be weakened. That's what the word language means. All right. It says all the merry hearted do sigh. Let me turn my airplane mode on. All the merry hearted do sigh. And the mirth of tavern ceaseth. The noise of them that rejoiceth endeth. And the joy of the harp ceaseth. Why is that? Because it's going to be the day of Jacob's trouble. The economy is going to collapse. There's going to be no use for money. You know, so it's going to be straight pandemonium. All right. Civil unrest. You know, it's going to be a spoiling. People are going to invade each other's house. But imagine when the when your when your WalMarts and your supermarkets, all right, have no more food. Imagine like the first week of Jacob's trouble of a of a, of a, of a, of a of the entire American economy collapsed. All right, or not even just America, the whole world. All right, there's going to be no currency. You know, so imagine people loot mass looting. You know, these supermarkets when all the supermarkets are empty. What's next? They're going to run into your homes. All right. So that's why the mirth, the mirth of tavern ceases. So there's going to be no music. The noise of them that rejoice of end of there's going to be no clubs or no, no bars or no, you know, it says the joy of the harp ceases. No dancing. No good times. It says they, they shall not drink wine with a song partying. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it because they're drinking it to escape the trauma that they just witnessed, man. They're drinking to escape the the, uh, the the cries and the and the and the and the lawlessness they're witnessing. It says, verse ten of the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. All right, city of confusion. See the word Babylon. See, this is why America is known as the daughter of Babylon, because Babylon goes into the word Babal, which means confusion. All right, confused city. So the city of confusion, Babylon, is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. It says there is a cry for wine in the streets. See that wine back again. That wine is knowledge, man. But this this wine they're crying for is going to be answers. It's going to be the truth. 
This is this is this is the famine of the word. There is a crying for wine in the streets. All right, and all all joy is darkened, and mirth of the land is is gone. The mirth is the foolishness. Mirth means foolishness. All right. It says, "In the city is left desolation, and the and the gate is smitten with destruction." So the gates of the city is the openings. So there was known as the gates of the city is the um, how would I say the main hubs. Like your, your like your capitals, all right. Like um, Chicago, it's not a Chicago's not a capital, but that would be considered like uh, the heart of Illinois, or Indianapolis for Indiana, or um, Dallas or Houston for Texas, all right, or San Antonio. These these major cities are going to be full of darkness, all right. Like the like like the TV show The Walking Dead, you know, downtown areas are going to be empty, you know. <clears throat> it says. Uh, that was twelve was the end of that. Uh, there's another one in the apocrypha six. It's the book of second uh, second Andrew six twenty four three twenty two. Um, second Andrew six and twenty two. It says. All right, it says, and suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown, and full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. What is that talking about, man? Storehouses are supermarkets, modern day supermarkets. The sown places, when you sow, you gather. So the places of gather shall appear unsown. All right, excuse the uh, the V and, and the way that's wrote, written, you know. But that's what it's mean, man. It means these supermarkets. The trumpet shall give a sound, you know which is a prophecy, you know, which when, when every man here, they sh shall suddenly be afraid. They shall suddenly, suddenly afraid. They shall be suddenly, be found, I'm sorry, be found, be, be suddenly afraid. All right. The front, the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man hear it, they shall be suddenly afraid, man. All right. That, that trumpet is the day of Jacob's trouble. That's, that's the play. That's one of the plagues, man. That's going to come upon the whole world. Verse 24, at that same time, friends fight one against another like enemies, and the earth shall stand in fear with, with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountains shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. All right? So that's what's, that's what the, that's what's coming to this place. It's the famine of the word, and it's going to be actual famine. Okay? It says... Verse 25, whosoever remaineth of all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation in the end of your world. See, that's the that's the point. That's why this dead Jacob's trouble is going to come upon all the world. Whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee, prophecies, all right, as you've said before, shall escape. Why? Because the Lord said, my servant shall eat, you know, and my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Because the uh, the servants of the Lord, the ones that praise his name, while the evil days come not, like I got in, um, remember, I read Ecclesiastes 12 and 1, remember, thou, remember now the creator in the days of thy youth. All right. The Lord is going to, the Lord is going to come for his men, you know, and those, and those women and children also that, that follow him. He's going to make, he's going to, he's going to prepare ways, you know, just like he did in the days of old, how all the miracles that he did when Yahweh shall walk the earth, all the miracles that he did in the time of Moses. All right. He's going to repeat those miracles. It said, in the in shall, shall escape, verse 25, shall escape and see my salvation in the end of your world. Because the, the new world is going to be ushered in. The world of the kingdom of heaven. All right. Um, let me see. There was another one. That was the last one I wanted to get was <clears throat> Isaiah. I mean, yeah, Isaiah. Not, not right there. Isaiah. 55 and 6. So the, so the men of the Lord are outside on the street right now. Now is the time to come and listen and hear the words of the Lord. So you can, so you can uh, maybe, might probably be saved and delivered. It's the book of Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. See while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. 
so he can be found now, but later he won't be found because he's gonna he's gonna put up his profits, man. He's gonna be protecting his profits. But you're gonna be caught in the <coughs> you're gonna be caught in the in the coming onslaught, man. Alright. Uh, there's one more. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna close it with this one. It's the book of uh Sirach. Oh no, it's the second edges of Sirach. It's sir, it's sir, it's uh, Sirach. Ecclesiasticus, better known as Sirach. Five and um seven. Make no tarry to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. Because why? For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And that, that wrath of the Lord is his judgments. All right, those trumps. That's going to be the judgments of the Lord. And, and in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. The day of, the day of vengeance is what? The day of Jacob's trouble. That's when the, that's when the, that's when the judgment of the Lord is going to start uh, upon all the world on a heavy level. Because the judgment, the judgment of the Lord is already going forth. But it's going to start, it's going to intensify, you know, it's going to intensify. So you seek him now, you know, while you can, while you, while, we may, while he may be found, he's going to be found while on the highways and byways by his men. You know, and that's how you learn the scriptures. That's how I learned, you know, and that's how, that's how men um, before me learned. Understand? So, amen with that. Hopefully this lesson was edifying. And until next time. I'm going to give all praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakodash, the water if I allow me to do this video. And I'm going to say, uh, Shalom.